This video is about calculating circumference and area of a circle and calculating the area of a regular polygon, specifically a hexagon. So we have talked about circles already in a different unit. We talked about the area and the circumference. So remember that the circumference of a circle is the distance around, or another way to think about it is the perimeter. To find the circumference, it is diameter times pi or 2 pi r. The area of the circle is the space it takes up or covers. To find the area, it is pi r squared. So number one, we have a circle with a radius of 19. So our circumference is 2 pi times 19, which would get us 38 pi centimeters. Our area then is pi r squared, so pi 19 squared, which would be 361 pi centimeters squared. In number two, we are given a diameter. Remember that two radii make up a diameter, so if we split 52 in half, we get our radii are 26 and 26. So our circumference will be 2 pi 26, so 52 pi inches. And our area is pi r squared, so pi 26 squared, which is 600 and 76 pi inches squared. In number three, we want to find the area of the shaded region. So this kind of looks like a bullseye or a donut where there's one circle inside the other. So we want to find the area of the big circle and subtract the area of the small circle. So our bigger circle has a radius of 15, so we have pi 15 squared. And our smaller circle has a radius of 7, so pi 7 squared. Before we subtract, we want to square our numbers. So we have 225 pi minus 49 pi, which gets us 176 pi meters squared. Now we can look at regular polygons. So a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral, which means it has congruent sides, and equiangular. So equilateral and equiangular. Our central angle, then, is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle or the polygon. Your central angle is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides. So if we have our two lines here forming a triangle, this would be our central angle. The radius, then, is a segment that's drawn from the center to the vertex of a polygon. So we actually have two radiuses here, but this is one of them. So this is a radius. Our apothem, then, is a segment that's drawn from the center to the midpoint of the side. So this is our apothem. It's going to split that side into two congruent parts. The apothem is very important because it's going to be used for our area. So to find the area of a regular polygon, it is equal to one half apothem times perimeter. So A represents your apothem and P represents your perimeter of the base. So in a regular polygon, our area is with apothem A and perimeter P is A equals one half AP. So if we look here, this would be our apothem. In a hexagon, when we draw in the radius, we're creating half of a triangle. So to find our angle, we want to find the central angle. But then we want to divide it by 2 because we're only looking at half of the triangle. So our angle would be 30 degrees. So always in a hexagon is going to be 30 degrees. So we can use our special right triangles to figure out the information that we need. So let's look at some examples. So number four, we want to find the area. So if this is our hexagon, when we draw in that line to create our triangle, we know that the angle is 30 degrees. So we have a special right triangle. So in a hexagon, those always exist. So we have S and S root 3. 
we know that 4 root 3 is on the s root 3 side, so we can divide by root 3 to get s. So s is 4. Remember that the sides are split into two congruent parts, so it's 4 and 4, making this whole side 8. So our area is 1 half apothem times perimeter. So the apothem was given to us, it's 4 root 3. To find the perimeter, there are six sides, each with a length of 8, so that would be 48. So we can put them into our equation now, 1 half times 4 root 3 times 48, and that's going to get us 96 root 3 meters squared. So in number 5, we are given the side of the hexagon, so we can draw in our line for the apothem, and we know that the angle is going to be 30 degrees. So if the side is 16, we know then that it is split into 8 and 8. We have our S and our S root 3 side, so we know S is 8, which means our apothem is 8 root 3. So if the area is 1 half apothem times perimeter, we know the apothem is 8 root 3. The perimeter, we have 6 sides that all have a length of 16 which is going to get us 96. So our area is 1 half times 8 root 3 times 96. So we get 384 root 3 inches squared. In number 6, when we draw in our apothem, we know the side is split in half. We know that our angle is 30 degrees. This time we are given the 2s side. We need to find the s and the s root 3. So we can divide 22 by 2 to get 11. So our side of the hexagon is 11, 11, which is 22. And our apothem is 11 root 3. So the apothem is 11 root 3. The perimeter is 6 times 22, which would get us 132. So our area is one half apothem times perimeter. So we have one half 11 root 3 times 132. So that is going to get 726 root 3 meters squared. In number seven, a regular hexagon has a perimeter of 60. So if our hexagon has a perimeter of 60, we know that there are six sides, so we can divide the perimeter by the number of sides. So if our perimeter is 60 divided by 6, that would make each side 10. So when we draw in the apothem, we know that the side is split into 5 and 5. We have our radius, and we know that our angle is 30 degrees. So if we look at our special right triangle, we have S, we need the S root 3 side, so S is 5, so our apothem is 5 root 3. We were already given the perimeter is 60, so we can find our area. So area equals 1 half apothem times perimeter, so that's going to be 1 half of 5 root 3 times 60, which is going to get us 150 root 3 centimeters squared. In number 8, the measure of an apothem of an octagon is 8.43 centimeters, and the area is 438.36 centimeters squared. Find the perimeter of the octagon. So, we can just use the formula, so we know our formula is area equals one-half apothem times perimeter. So if we already know the area, we can substitute in the area value for the capital A, and we can substitute the apothem in for the little a. So when we substitute, we have 438.36 equals one half of 8.43 times the perimeter. So first we're going to take half of the 8.43. So 
So we're going to have 438.36 equals 4.215p, and then we can divide, and we get p is 104, so 104 centimeters. In number nine, find the area of a pen the area of the Pentagon is 336 millimeters squared. The measure of one side of the Pentagon is 14 millimeters. Find the apothem. So if we know that a side is 14 and a pentagon has five sides, we're going to do 5 times 14 to get that our perimeter is 70. So we can substitute the area in for the capital A, and we can substitute the perimeter in for P. So we have 336 equals 1 half A times 70. We're going to take half of 70, so we get 336 equals 35A. We can divide by 35, so we get A is 9.6, so 9.6 millimeters.